crispy skin, juicy flesh, what more do you want in your turkey? Hi, I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to cook this turkey in a Weber kettle. And we're gonna make sure it stays moist. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. I picked up this 4.7 kilogram turkey from Gippsland Premium Meats. It was frozen when I grabbed it, so it spent the last two days defrosting in my fridge. Normally I'd rinse any poultry that I'm going to cook, but since this is going into brine, we don't need to. This isn't a huge bird. I prefer to cook two turkeys if I need more meat. We now need to brine the turkey to ensure it stays moist during the cook. So into this small pan over a medium heat, I've got some salt, some sugar, some apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of apple juice. I'm just gonna stir it maybe for about 10 minutes until the salt and the sugar has fully dissolved. Once it's all dissolved, add some cold water to cool it down a lot quicker and we can add that to a food safe bucket. Along with some apple juice and four oranges that have been cut in half and squeezed in. A whole head of garlic, just cut it in half and pop all of that in. A small piece of ginger, just chop it up and we can pop that in as well. And don't forget the chili flakes. Now we just need to add a bunch of fresh rosemary, thyme and sage into the cavity of the turkey and place the turkey into the bucket. And just add enough water to cover the turkey and finish this off with a bag of ice. Last up, pop the lid back on. Ooh, oh, that was a bit... Oh. Last up, pop the lid back on. And just leave this to brine overnight in a cool area of your house. By adding the ice to the bucket, we don't need to put the turkey in a fridge. The bird has been brining overnight, so we've taken it out of the brine, and all we need to do now is grab some paper towel and pat the skin dry, and also make sure there's no herbs left in the cavity. I have a compound butter that I've made up, which is softened salted butter with herbs and spices mixed in. What I'm gonna do is carefully pry back the skin of the turkey and rub plenty of that butter underneath the skin. Then I'm also gonna rub plenty of it all around the outside of the bird and inside the cavity as well. Now it's time to truss the bird. What I'm gonna use is some butcher string and I like to start down near the neck because that way I can bring it over the wings and hold them in place and then bring the string underneath the breast muscle and tie it off. And then we're just gonna wrap it around the legs and tie them off and bring them nice and close to the body. Now we can add a dry rub and I'm gonna use a blend of spices and herbs that I've put together and we're just going to cover the bird all over. I generally start on the back of it first and then flip it over. Now make sure to check the video's description because that's where you're gonna find a full list of all the ingredients used for this cook. Today I'm gonna to be using a 57 centimetre Weber kettle and I'm gonna be pairing it up with a JG barbecue offset plate. Why? Because I wanna be cooking at temps of 165 degrees Celsius today. So how I'll do that is I'm gonna fill the cavity of the offset plate with unlit charcoal. I'll remove eight of those briquettes and I'm gonna light them up. So once they are all ashed over, I'm actually just gonna place them back where I took them out of. I'll also add a tray just to collect any juices. I'm gonna put the grill in place and I'm gonna add an ambient temp probe. I'll then put the lid back on opening all of the vents and making sure that lid vent is on the opposite side to our lit charcoal. And I'm gonna monitor the temps using a thermometer. And once we get close to our target temp, around about 50 degrees off, I'm gonna start closing down the bowl vent. And by doing this, I know I'm not gonna overshoot my target temp. The JG barbecue offset plate needs time to absorb heat. That's how it helps us save fuel. So give it time, find something to do. Grab a drink. So once the Weber's at temp, all we're gonna do is put the bird in on the grill on the opposite side of the lit fuel. And then all we wanna do is insert an internal temp probe into the breast. So just put, so just put the lid. every time. So just put the lid back on and we're gonna set a timer for 30 minutes. Remember to keep the lid vent over your food because by doing that, you're drawing all the heat and all the smoke over everything you cook. So after 30 minutes, I wanna just turn the bird around just to get an even cook. 
And we're just gonna set the timer for another 30 minutes. If you haven't already, now would be a good time to like this video. Today, I'm cooking at a temp of 165 degrees Celsius. All up, this cook's gonna take an hour and a half for this bird to be reading 74 degrees Celsius internally. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a three beer cook. Now, this is all dependent on the size of the turkey you're cooking. A bigger bird means more beers. All right, it's time to turn our turkey around one more time. It won't be long before we're feasting on this bird. We can now ride this out and wait for the probe to sing its magic song of doneness. The turkey is ready, so it's time to get it off the heat and we're just gonna give it a rest for a good 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, how good does that look? Perfection once again in a Weber kettle. Now, this is seriously that good, it should be illegal. Mm. As always, cheers for watching.